Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So it's finally spring here in, in Australia. Woo! I am so excited. I love spring so much. I just, I don't know, I just love spring and summer. It just makes me so happy where winter is just, uh, it's cold, you want to stay in bed all day. Well, spring is just like, I want to get outside and play! I hope you guys enjoy this video. Get out your makeup and brushes and let's get started. First off, I'm going to use Max Fix Plus to spray my face. So refreshing. So nice. And I just let that dry before I do anything else. I'm now going to go in with my Eve Pearl Concealer in Medium Tan. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I'm still going to use my NARS Sheer Glow, but since I'm pretty low on this, I'm going to have to mix it with another foundation. And what I have at the moment is MAC Face and Body. absolutely love these products. So good. I'm using C1 and N1 mixed together. And then I'm also going to mix that with a little bit of NARS just for more, more coverage. So I've just mixed all my foundation scale on this palette and I'm going to use my Duo Fiber Powder Blush Blush Brush F15 to apply this on my face. My cheeks are really red right now for some reason. I don't know why. I'm really focusing on my cheeks today, as like I said, they're really red. I don't normally get red cheeks unless I've run a marathon or I'm just hot or embarrassed. No, I'm not embarrassed today. Right, so I'm now going to conceal. As you can see, you can still see my orange concealer. So I'm going to go in with concealer to highlight under my eye and cover any blemishes. Today I'm actually going to use a different concealer. I am using my Pro Longwear from MAC in shade NC20. I haven't used this concealer for so long so I'm looking forward to using it. So this concealer is really good for the eyelids, it does not crease so it's perfect for under the eyes as well. Perfect eye concealer. So with my damn beauty blender I'm going to blend all that concealer in or out, whatever you want to say. To my skin. I make sure I look up when I blend under my eye. So now I'm just going to go over the rest of my face with my beauty blender just to pick up any excess product I may have on my face. So I kind of need a thicker foundation today. Like can you see that my cheeks are still red? As if I don't need blush today, so I might not go in with blush, but I shall see. I don't know why I'm so red in the face. Anyways, that is foundation done. I'm just going to go in with my good old Maybelline Fit Me Concealer just to cover up my cheeks a bit more. This is not necessary. I'm just doing it because I don't have a thick foundation right now. Okay, to set my concealer, I'm going to go in with Astralis Fresh and Flawless, like always, and using the sponge that comes with it. And 
then what is le whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just going to apply to my chin, my nose, and my forehead, as this is where I tend to get oily the most throughout the day. I'm not going to powder my whole face, as I do want to look more dewy and fresh, as this is a springtime appropriate tutorial. So I want to look as fresh and glowy as possible. So less powder, the better. So that is why I've only powdered under my eyes, my nose, chin and forehead. Okay, I'm now going to apply bronzer. I'm going to go in with my MAC Matte Bronzer. It's a beautiful matte brown. I absolutely love it. So just a, with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to apply this to my face. So you don't have to be precise when you're applying bronzer. Just apply it around your cheek area. I'm doing my forehead. These are just the main areas where you can bronze, but you can bronze wherever you like on your face. You can even cover your whole face if you wanted to. Just want to add a bit more colour to my face. Okay, since I do have pink cheeks right now, I'm going to skip blush and go ahead in with highlighter. Ooh with my Mary Luminizer, of course. So I'm applying that to my cheekbones. I'm really going in with my highlighter as I want that glowiness. going to do my brows which I do not look forward to so I may skip this step for you guys because brows are boring and who wants to watch people getting their brows done I will however do a brow tutor tutorial if anyone is interested please let me know by commenting down below if not I'm not going to worry about it as it's not interesting <laughs> anyways I'm going to go in with a new product at the moment as I have run out of Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia Brow Wiz. So I'm going in with my Maybelline Master Shape by Eye Studio in Soft Brown. So it comes with the spoolie and the product. This is actually a really good um, affordable product from the drugstore. Except the one thing I do not like about it is you have to keep sharpening it. Can you see that? It's so blunt, you gotta keep sharpening it. I do not like that. But it's a good product, really creamy, perfect. So, so just with my sharpener, I'm going to sharpen it up. Now I'm going to draw my brows on. going to go and finish off my brows with my Maybelline Brow Drama in Dark Brown just to set it and darken my brow up a little bit more. Okay, so my eyebrows are done! Ah! So now it's time to move on to the eyes. So the first eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is Peach Smoothie, my makeup geek and my E40 brush in my crease. Okay, next eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is Makeup Geek Creme Bule in my crease as well. The next one I'm going in with is Makeup Geek Chickadee. Now you're probably thinking why orange, but trust me, a little bit and it is absolutely beautiful. You only want a little bit for that just beautiful glow in that eye area. And apply in your crease. I'm 
really focusing in the outer corner as well, like that. I'm now going in with Cupcake by Makeup Geek as well, of course, it's all Makeup Geek today, with my E25 brush from Sigma. So I'm just applying that right in my crease here, starting from the outer part of my eye and then going in the inner part of my eye with less product. Back and forth, back and forth, blending, always blending, and then apply a little bit on the outer corner of your eye. I'm now going to go in with Mango Tango and Chickity and with my E40 brush in my crease. I just want a bit more pinkiness and warmth into this look. I'm just going to go in with Peach Smoothie just to blend out my harsh line. Just starting in my crease and then make my way up to my brow bone. I'm now going to go in with my Makeup Geek Fold Eyeshadow in In The Spotlight. Favourite fold eyeshadow at the moment if you can't tell. It's just so beautiful! I'm then going to grab my same brush and same eyeshadow, put a bit on my brush, good amount, and then I'm going to grab my MAC Fix Plus and spray some onto my brush. So you dab it on and it just makes the eyeshadow more metallic looking and shiny and glowy. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this method. So if you don't have MAC Plus, Mac, Mac, Mac Fix Plus, then I would just don't worry about this step. Just apply your shimmery pink eyeshadow. I'm going in with Sketch. I was about to say Bitten. <laughs> no, it's Sketch from Mac. It's a beautiful purple shade. So now with my Makeup Geek Out of V brush, I'm going to go in with Mango Tango again just to blend out that colour on my bottom lash line and add a bit more pinkness to it. So now with my pencil brush and MAC Shroom, I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes and brow bone. If you don't have MAC Shroom, then go ahead and use your highlighter that you use on your cheekbones. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply two coats of mascara. I'm going to go with our dull Demi Wispies in, yeah, just Demi Wispies. Okay, so now time for the lips. I'm going to go in with OCC Lip Tar in Melis Melons and Lip Tar in Divine. These two beautiful colours. And I'm just going to mix them on my hand and apply it to my lips. I'm going to go in with my Buttercream Lip Gloss by Gerald Cosmetics. It's a nice pinky nude. It's 
very pink lips. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys try this look out. Even if it might not be spring for you, it's still fun to play around with your makeup. So have a good day or night guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Don't forget to keep smiling!